Hey, let me out of here! Joe, we finally found you! Hi there, big boy. They? Hello, Joe. Bet you didn't expect to see me, yeah? Anderson, what are you doing here? You no good son of a... Get a grip, Joe. He's here to help us. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, get a grip. Why would he want to help us? Because the doctor is insane. He must be stopped at all costs. No kidding? You're a regular genius, you know that? Well, at least I'm smart enough not to be behind bars. <laughs> You're just lucky that I am behind bars, pal. Quit your bickering, you two. He started it. I did not. We have to find a way to get this door open. Yeah, maybe there's a crowbar or something in this cupboard. A crowbar? You'll need more than a crowbar to open this door. Good thinking, Hans. Hans? Your name is Hans? It was my father's name. We don't have time for idle chit-chat. We have work to do. Let's have a look. Hey, there's some kind of gun in here. Biffy. Be careful, Faye. That crazy Dr. Einstein has some deadly toys. Well, this looks pretty deadly. Maybe I can blow the lock off the door. Okay. Let's give it a go. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Why don't you think it's a good idea, Joe? Are you afraid? No. I'm just concerned for your, uh... Safety. Yeah, right. Well, you better stand back. I don't believe it! It dissolved the entire door. Just as well. This thing has burnt out. Well, Faye, we've got to get a move on. Why the hurry? Hans has to fly the Zeppelin into the valley. If we don't get back to the hangar, Einstein may get suspicious. We've done all we can, Joe. You've got to find some way into the valley and stop Einstein before it's too late. I'll try. You guys be careful now, okay? We will. Good luck, Joe. Yes, King. Good luck. This isn't my day. Now I have to find some way into the valley. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this alcohol. Sure thing, son. May I see your ID, please? My ID? Yeah, ID. You have ID, don't you, son? Yeah, sure. I've got it right here. See? 
Hmm. You were born on the 13th of July 1922, huh? That's right. How old are you then? How old am I? I'm, uh, up 26. Okay, but this card doesn't have your name on it. Of course it doesn't. I've just changed my name to Joe King, and I haven't got my new ID card through yet. Yeah, right. Okay, you can have the alcohol. Gee, thanks a lot. Remember, drinking doesn't make you big or clever. And never drive an automobile while under the influence. Thanks for the public service announcement, Bob, but I am an adult. If I put these two pieces of paper together, I can see the complete blueprint on the back. It's the blueprint for Commander Rocket's pocket rocket. It can reach speeds of up to 100 miles an hour and runs on just a quarter gallon of gas. This thing looks like Commander Rocket's jetpack. And according to those blueprints, it takes a quarter gallon of gas. I'll try that much. Well, here goes nothing. Ow! My head hurts. I'm so glad you could drop in, Joe. I knew that you'd make it. Faye, what are you doing here? I hitched a ride with Anderson in the airship. My God! That's a dinosaur! It's a living, breathing dinosaur! That's right, King. Welcome to the Valley of the Mists. Where are the others? They're with Dr. Ironstein. He has no idea that you're here, so you have the advantage of surprise. Great. Maybe I can scare him to death. You'll think of something. I told Frank that I needed to powder my nose, so I better get back. Powder your nose? Come on. Follow me. If I get out of this alive, I'm taking a long vacation. Faye? Where are you, Faye? Oh, great. Now I've lost Faye. And this dinosaur is in my way. It's a giant Apatosaurus, commonly known as a Brontosaurus, and it's blocking my way. I can talk all I want, but it ain't gonna talk back. Lucky for me, she's a vegetarian.
I'm no paleontologist, but going by the large crest on top of its head and the position of its nasal passages, I'd say that it's probably a Parasaurolophus. Here you go, girl. That should keep her occupied. Wow! More dinosaurs! Damn! I scared him away! Now where's he gone? They both left in a hurry. I wonder why. I have a feeling that I'm about to find out. That's one mean-looking dinosaur! I hope this guy is scared of Tyrannosaurus Rex! Well, that's taking care of him. At last, I have made it into the valley. Hold it right there, Einstein. King, how did you get here? That's not important. What is important is that I put a stop to your sinister plans. Put a stop to my plans? My dear King, you are going to help me fulfill them. Watch out, Joe. He has a portable dino ray gun. That's right, King. One shot, and you'll be transformed into a mindless dinosaur. Threaten me all you want. I won't be a party to your evil deeds. Perhaps I can persuade you by threatening the lovely Princess Azura. Okay, I'll do whatever you ask. Just don't hurt her. Come here, King. I have something for you. This is the Crystal Skull. What do you want me to do with this? I want you to place it in that statue over there. That doesn't sound too bad. There, I put the skull in. Now what? <laughs> Holy cow! It worked! Just as legend said! All systems functional. Unit compliance initiated. Huh? I don't get it. What is this thing? That thing is the most powerful device on the face of the Earth! I was designed by the creators of this valley to help construct and protect the shield. 
With it leading my army of dinosaur people, I shall be invincible. Then nothing will stop me from taking over the world. Uh oh. I only obey the activating unit. Hey, that's me. Oh, well, in that case, King, I must destroy you. Thanks for saving my life. I was just doing my job. Good lord, what happened? My crystalline structure amplified the intensity of his weapon. Is that bad? It means that he now has powers equal to mine. I must stop him. Oh my god! They're fighting! You gotta do something, Joe! Hurry! Before they kill each other! I'll try and get Frank in my sights. Here goes nothing. He deflected the ray! You've got to turn payback to normal! Okay, I'll give it a go. Joe. Sorry, Faye. Excuse me, Faye. Yes, Joe. Where's Anderson? He's waiting for us up in the Zeppelin. He's too far away for us to signal him for help. I'd like you to turn your mirror around. What on earth for? So that when Frank deflects the ray, it will bounce off your mirror. Oh, I get it. Then I won't get zapped into a dinosaur. Okay, I'll give it a try. Thanks, Faye. Now, get Frank in my sights. Here I go again. Well, that didn't do much good. Oh. Sparky sure does make a cute dinosaur. Yeah. But he's not much use as a Triceratops. I feel so mellow. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I got an idea how to stop you from getting zapped by the Dino Ray. What's your idea? Do you want me to move? No, no, no. Put this mask on. Okay... Its shiny surface should deflect the beam. So just sit tight, little buddy, okay? What was that? Oh, sorry, Sparky. But you should have gone before we left. Now to get him in my sights. Hasta la vista, Frank. You did it! You destroyed Dr. Einstein! I couldn't have done it without you guys helping me. I am awaiting further orders. I think it's best if we leave this place. Is there any way you can restore the valley shields? I could channel the energy from the crystal skull back into them, but the skull would have to remain here with me, in the valley. That's not such a bad idea. It might just keep out crazies like Frank. I want you to do it. By your command. But what about the dinosaurs? We could make a lot of money out of them. Some things are best left in the past, Faye. Is it over? Did I miss anything? 
I'll tell you all about it later, Sparky. Okay, guys. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, King. It looks like you've saved the world. Maybe I was wrong about you, Joe. With Frank gone, the world is a much safer place. If only he'd used his powers for niceness, instead of evil. Look! The shield has been restored. The valley is safe again, but for how long? Don't worry, Joe. The Amazon jungle has been untouched for thousands and thousands of years. I'm sure it will remain untouched for thousands more. Well, Princess, I ought to be getting you home. But, Joe, I want to stay with you. Thank you. 